Hi, I'm John, and this is a little follow-up clip on the infrared transceiver. Um, in a previous clip, uh, I've shown the infrared transceiver where you can uh, test, record, and confirm an infrared message sent by a remote, for example this one, and uh, replay it to control the LED strip over here. So I have this remote, turn it on, well, let's make it white, and turn it off. So what I'm going to show you in this clip is the web interface where I can clone this remote with the signals I've sent to this Arduino and replay it with the web interface. So I have an Arduino over here, it's now off, it's not connected. So I'm going to connect it and here's the web interface showing attached peripherals. So I'm going to now put it in. The Arduino is automatically uh, recognized because of the product and, uh, product and vendor ID. Uh, the blue LED is over here. Is lit up, so it's you know it's active. Uh, because all the parameters are known for connection, uh, except for the baud rate, I have to set the baud rate and set in start. Uh, because uh, if you have your own Arduino um, connected, it does not know which software it should load for it. So it sends a uh, string which says an ID, and with a string received back, it loads the correct driver. So with now the Arduino connected, I can go to Control and Fuse, where I have already created this remote. So I go to Remotes, and I'm going to click on the remote I've created. As you can see, it's this one over here, which is this. And as you can see, it's missing the right bottom button. And what I will do is create it in the editor, so you know how to add uh, buttons yourself. And it's controlling this LED strip, so when I turn it on with uh, this one, it goes on, and it goes off. And I can do it also with the web interface. So what I'm going to do is click the on button over on the right top, just as the remote. And it goes on, goes off, well, let's go on, different colors. And then use the remote to turn it off again. So it's turned off. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to add a button on the right bottom. And for this I will go to uh, plugin management, remotes, and I click the remote assign button so I can open the editor which uh, allows me to create this remote. As you can see it's green, uh, it has a green uh, line around it which means it has a signal attached to it. Or a confirmed signal for it. So what I'm going to do right now is on this empty spot I'm going to add a button which is a default button where I can define my own text on. It says DEF uh, just for default. Click on it and because it says here uh, smooth I will uh, use SMD for smooth. This button is selected, and what I'm going to do now is record. So I press the record button over here. It now says listening, and this uh, little uh, LED uh, blinks, which is the red one over here. So when I send it a signal, which will be uh, the smooth signal, I point it to the Arduino or the receiver. You can see it has blinked here, and I can test and confirm the signal. It has been received. What I will do now is I will confirm. Record mode is now turned off. And I'm going to save this remote. So, remote saved. I will go to control fuse. Click remotes. And I'm going to open the remote I just uh, edited. Here is the button we just created. And I'm going to turn on the LED strip. So let's put this one over here. And uh, this uh, smooth button, well, it has an error because um, the remote itself, it says smooth, but it's not smooth. So let's uh, fix color and press smooth. Well, this is what it does. So what you can do is um, not only use this remote, I've also created this remote, but the protocol is not um, supported yet in the hardware. And it's created so over here. As you can see, it's well almost the same. 
with uh, a three button rows, um, four button rows, the colors, um, navigation, and if you look at it at the uh, plugin management remote and click the assign, here is the, the editor. As you can see, I have a um, four button row over here. So when I uh, release this one, it will add another one. Uh, you do. You are not obligated to fill these. It will be used as spacings and um, will create spaces on your uh, other devices. So this is a little bit about the remote editor and uh, the functionality. And when it's completely done, I will post a new clip showing also the Android and the client version. So bye bye.